welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Becky Lane and we are back with another vlog um, today is just like a lazy Sunday style vlog um, I mean I feel like I have stuff to do but not a lot like essentially um, I just made my smoothie y'all would have saw that it's pretty good I I feel like it needed something else like it's a little bit bland like I feel like the milk kind of muted the other flavors so it probably would have been better with orange juice but I'm being careful with like all the sugar and stuff that I um, like eat or drink or whatever so um, it is what it is but um, I just ordered groceries online that I got to pick up later I also did a Target order that I need to pick up um, I'm waiting on the package y'all I've been waiting on this package since Friday like I actually left work early to get home for this package they never delivered it then they rerouted it and said that it was going to come um, yesterday and they said anywhere between 10 30 and like 2 30 and it's my fault because I went out for a run your girl ran two miles without stopping I was so proud of myself um, and then I walked I did my run for like two miles and like it was like two and a quarter miles and then I walked for like three and a half miles um, with like my normal walking crew so um anyway um when i was out doing that i told myself like oh they're probably not gonna come right at 10 30 so i can get home around 11. no they came at 10 30 on the dot um and i was trying to tell the guy through my uh like my doorbell camera i'm like can you just leave it please but i got a sign for it so he didn't leave it so now they said today and they didn't even give a time frame for today so i'm waiting on my package and so i can't really go pick up any of my orders until my package come um in about 50 minutes or so i'm doing an instagram live um i don't really get on instagram live often but sometimes people may ask me um in this case she asked me to like be a guest on her lock talk sunday and i'll put all the information somewhere so i'm gonna be doing that today um I'm debating if I'm going to cook or just go get food. I'm actually so hungry right now. And I'm trying to drink this smoothie as like a meal for breakfast. But essentially it's just fruit. I thought about it. Like I probably should have put oats in there or something. Um, which I've been doing pretty good at staying healthy and consistent with my... Well, I ain't going to say consistent. I haven't been like doing my diet like 100% to a T. Like this Mediterranean diet if you're new here. Um, I have high cholesterol. So I've been trying to do like a lower cholesterol diet. I haven't been following it like 100% to a T, but I have been doing a good job. But anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to cook today or if I'm just going to go get food. So we'll see. But I was in the mood to vlog and I was like, I know it's not going to be a weekly vlog. So it's just going to be a Sunday vlog, chill, rainy Sunday. So um, I will probably pick you guys up either when my package is here or when I start the Instagram live. So see you in a few. Okay, y'all. I don't know why I'm nervous, but we about to go live. It's 12 o'clock at least. She's not live yet. I think she's about to be. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on her page. I don't know if I get like a notification. This is crazy. It's really not that crazy, but <laughs> I'm like, what do we do here? Hopefully, she told me it was 12 o'clock my time. So hopefully it's like now. I'm just waiting to see if she goes. <laughs> Y'all, I, I think that I realized like that vlogs became like the behind the scenes of when people were like doing their other videos. And this is like my behind the scenes because I'm like a little bit nervous. And also I don't want my phone to die. It's a lot going on. I hope that I put the right time. I'll be back.
location. Okay, let me see. Okay. Lock Talk Sunday. How y'all been? How y'all Sunday's going? I am very excited for today's guest. Today we have Rebecca Elaine of Elena Centrals. There we go. Okay. I was like, I see a request to join, but I didn't see the invite. So. Mm, okay. I feel like I'm low key nervous because I don't go on live like ever on my page, but I don't know that. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> And in that moment, I literally cut my hair off all of it because I was like, there's no way that I'm going to like be so hurt about who I am because I can't manipulate my hair to feel good about myself. And literally, I cut my hair off that day. The live. It was a really good conversation. I felt like I almost got a little bit emotional. I was hot sitting in front of that light. I had to um, change because I was sweating in my pajamas. Um, I'm annoyed because my package is still not here. They just started shopping for my groceries. My Target order is ready. So I don't know. I'm really hoping that it gets here sooner than later because I want to go pick up my Target order. I want to go get my nails done too. I forgot to add that because they are looking crazy. I've been doing the um the dip powder. So yeah, they need to be filled. Um and I'm hungry. I need to figure out what we're gonna eat. I want some food. I need to go pick up my food and my groceries, like my groceries and my um, my stuff from Target before it's too late. Um, uh, so freaking annoying. Sorry, I don't want to sound like a complainer, even though I really want to complain. But I'm just nervous because I just feel like they're gonna come before I um, before I get back. I hope not, but that's what it seemed like. I would just go real quick because these guys are coming. orders y'all would have seen that or at least part of it and I need to go to the post office to drop it off so I'm wondering if I can pretty much do a loop like go to the post office drop off the orders then pick up my groceries and I really still need to get my nails done but I don't know at this point because it's 4 40 on a Sunday and if this order if or not this order if my package isn't delivered anytime soon like all the nail shops are going to be closed and this sucks I did not want to go to work with my nails looking like this but I just have to go probably tomorrow. Okay, we just got our target order. Hopefully that's everything. I need to like going through it. I'm at the trust him. All right, and it says the post office is 13 minutes away. So let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I really want to get um, crumble cookie right now, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna test my luck. For the world that was ours, for the moolah, for the power of love, and the chance to make it love last. Oh, wow. Pregnant to me and little my hood. 
Thank you. Should just take everything out first and then do the haul or i'm just not gonna put it away i'm gonna take it out and then i'll put it away later we got some hawaiian buns which i got some chicken patties that i'm gonna cook with that we got some cream and chicken soup which i'm gonna make a meal i think i'm actually gonna make it tonight oh no i forgot to get the chicken well maybe tomorrow i'm gonna make a meal that i saw on tiktok got some goodies and some mints so i always gotta keep mints in my purse i was down to my last couple um, we got a Target bag. Did we get some Target floss threaders? Um, or what are those called? The little flossers, not floss threaders. Aveeno moisturizer for my face that just ran out. Uh, we got some new body spray. I ran out of body spray. I usually use like something from Bath and Body Works, but I was like, let's just try whatever Target has to offer, which was that. We got... I bought a bundle because I got a ten dollar gift card for it, but we got some gain fireworks, boosted scented stuff, <laughs> um, pods, washing pods. I need to do my laundry today. We got um, more gain laundry stuff. Like I said, I only needed two of those three things, but I got a gift card, so I bought all three because I can use all three. Um, what else from Target? Deodorant. I like spray deodorant. I have been using an aluminum free one. Um, this one has aluminum, but I needed something a little bit stronger because I've been running and working out. And yeah, so I'm like, I had to go back. Um, I'm trying this for the first time. I run, I'm running out of mousse. So this one is Tresemme Extra Hold. Usually I wear, I use a L'Oreal, but they didn't have it at Target and I went to one stop shop. Um, I bought some new headphones. These were only 50 bucks. They're Sony and they had good reviews. And I just need something that can go over my ear when I'm running because my AirPods keep falling out. So I'm hoping that these are gonna be good. I didn't want anything super expensive. So um, I found from the mid-level. And we got some Febreze plugins. Um, Cause we ran out of the ones in the house. Okay, sorry this corner is a little bit dark. Um, we got chips. I don't usually buy a lot of chips, but I bought sandwich stuff, so I was like, we can just have some chips to have during the week. Um, 
croissants. We love bread in this house. So a croissant is just something extra. Fruit oranges. Next we have, ooh, I'm so glad they had this. I thought they were gonna have to replace it. They had some pre-chopped cilantro. I'm so happy that they had this because I really didn't want to waste like a whole bush of cilantro if I didn't have to. Pre-chopped um, peppers. Probably not worth the price that I paid, but worth it in saving time. Red onions. We got turkey. I love the pepper turkey beets and Watson. It's really good. Um, a veggie tray. Again, I just break this down and eat it throughout the week. I know it's probably best to buy everything individually, but this works well for me. Um, we got some oat milk. I've been really debating on trying this, and I finally tried it yesterday in a restaurant um, at a little coffee shop that I went to. I had some oat milk Earl Grey tea, and I wanted to recreate it, which I think I have Earl Grey tea. Let me, side note, let me check. Mm, is this Earl Grey? No, I got vanilla chai, so I can probably do like a vanilla chai with some oat milk. That's probably going to be good. Mm, I might make that tonight, honey. Anyway, um, bagels, again, we love bread. We get the blueberry bagels. Um, Zatarans, rice is for the recipe that I found that I'm going to try. Um, the, the recipe I found on TikTok. Crackers, just something extra to kind of have in the lunch. But that's not really for me. Um, a big old thing of minute rice. Y'all, I've been making my rice in the microwave and I'm not mad about it. I, I don't feel ashamed. I don't care. This minute rice in the microwave, add a little bit of butter and a little bit of like, um, I have like this herb and um, lemon garlic seasoning. So good. I have to show you how I do that one day. Um, and then last but not least, my everyday <laughs> lunch. But I mixed it with all this other stuff that I recently bought. It's my big old thing of power greens. So I'm just going to rinse this out. Another hack that I found is if you just rinse this whole thing, like underwater, rinse, rinse, rinse. Um, pour it out and then put a paper towel on the bottom and have it upside down in your refrigerator. It stays crisp. Like this lasts me usually like a week and a half. Like probably it'll last me like seven lunches. Um, so like Monday through Friday and then Monday, Tuesday, and it'll be crisp until the last day. Like honestly, when I do that, so that's what I'm going to do with this, but these are my groceries. I'm so happy. I'm going to go ahead and put them away. I'm going to go ahead and eat the food that I bought. Um, and then I'll talk to y'all. Put all the food away while my food, while the food that I just bought is in the air fryer. I'm about to show y'all my drink. This is the drink that I've been thinking <laughs> that I've been drinking for the last maybe two months or so. So we gotta start off with two ingredients, <laughs> Arizona and Simply. These are the best ones to have with it. Every once in a while I'll get like the Costco lemonade, but I haven't gone to Costco in a while, so this has been like my mix. But I use them both at the same time. <sighs> Let me find a spot. <laughs> Hold on. So we do mostly iced tea. You can choose your uh, ratios, but I'm pretty much do mostly iced tea. Because um, honestly, the lemonade is not off. Sometimes you get less lemonade than iced tea. But we got a gallon of lemonade, or a gallon of iced tea, and 2.7 quarts of lemonade. So you just don't want to run out of the lemonade before you run out of the iced tea. Add that right on top. Mm -hmm -hmm. Look at that mix. You see that ombre? That's when you know it's perfect. If you're looking for an update on my package, it never came. <laughs> so annoying. Um, I'm about to go ahead and make this uh, mixture that I have for my salad. Sorry, I'm checking my avocados, but I think these are bad. They're It's kind of soft. I don't want to throw it away, but I'm probably going to have to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make this mixture that I make to put in my salad every week. Um, and I'm mad because I was just I was telling y'all my hack with the um, greens and paper towels. And I didn't buy paper towels. Anyway, you need your peppers, we need onion, we need tomato, <laughs> sorry y'all, uh, all these tomatoes don't even look good anymore, they're not terrible, all that.
anyway cilantro we need i was gonna get lemon juice but we got a fresh lemon right here that i bought last week so hopefully it's still good lemon and I feel like I'm forgetting something a can of lentils and a can of garbanzo beans chickpeas <laughs> I had to find a place to ring y'all up but um so what I like to do is rinse both of these beans because I don't know they come like well this one isn't as bad I think the lentils are the bad one all these are the lentils like look and they smell weird mm, I don't like it so I'm gonna just put that in the strainer I normally do them separately but I'm gonna just dump them well yeah I'm gonna do them separately um Ooh, I gotta rinse that now. I was gonna wait, but it's like it smells weird. It almost smells like dog food. Oh, yeah. I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to fight for my yearnings Yeah, in my mind is a warning Pray to the one you're relying I've been wandering all day Tried to be fine, but I can't be The noise in my mind would it leave me Tried to get by, but I'm burning I'm behind, my mind is running We are in the bathroom. Vlogging in the bathroom makes me really miss vlogging for real, for real. Um, I came in here to really, I want to <laughs> unbox my headphones, which I just wanted to do in here because now it's loud since so I got the washing machine going. Um, I wanted to try this or smell this spray. So I know I kind of went through it fast, but it's called Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. I don't know. I need something that when I get out the shower, I can just spray. Oh, also I was gonna say, um, I'm not a vanilla e girl. I don't know why I got this, but it's not bad. It, it's not bad. Um, I was gonna say it like usually on the days that I ship orders, like right after I ship orders, I get another order. So I feel like before I go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna get another order. I just wanna put it out there and see what happens. Mm. Okay, it's very subtle. I don't know how well it's gonna pair with my Chanel, but I kinda like it. Okay, we got a winner, we'll add it. Under there. Yeah, I gotta put my bonnet on because this hair is gonna get to my nerves. I really planned on doing a video actually, um, like showing this, but now it's starting to get freaky because I've been doing so much running. But I do have the footage. It's in um, portrait mode because I was recording it for Instagram. But if y'all want to see the tutorial on this style, let me know and I will do it. But, okay, so like I said, we got our new mousse. This is what I normally use. This is what we got now, so we can put this away. And Albino, this looks a little different from the one that I normally use. What's different? Positively radiant. I don't know, maybe they just changed their packaging. 
Y'all, I have been ghetto. I've been opening it. It won't pump if I just been opening it up and putting it on my face like this. And I <laughs> I saw a video on TikTok and it was like, I'm gonna tell y'all how you know how I know if you was raised in hood or not. And he started doing that, but it was with lotion. And he's like, just throw it away. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but that's what made me go get more. Cause I'm like, damn, you can take the girl out the hood, cannot take the hood out the girl, apparently. Um anyway, oh, other reason I came in here is because I wanted to show y'all. This lip gloss that I got yesterday, I went to MAC and I was like, I need a new eyebrow pencil. And I was like, I want a lip gloss. Can you recommend a good lip gloss? And the guy was like, yeah, the one I got on right now, girl. And his lips were popping. And I was like, okay, let's try it. Let me show y'all. I had it on earlier when I was doing the um, live, so you probably saw it. But can y'all see that? I didn't do a whole lot, but it's enough. Lip gloss is popping. So I just wanted to show y'all that because this is probably my new favorite. I don't even know if it got a name. Lip glass, lip gloss. I don't know how much I paid for it to be quite honest with you. So I don't know, but I like it. And so I will be a customer. Let's look at these headphones. I think I need to charge them. I always say I only need to charge for three minutes. If you charge it for three minutes, then it'll last an hour and a half. Music playback time, max five hours or 50 hours. Hands-free phone calls, um, multiple connections, voice assist, some other stuff. And I really like Sony. I don't know. I really, I considered getting the Apple ones because I have so many things Apple, but I was like, do I have to? And the answer to myself was no. Um, especially because I know for a fact, I'm only gonna be using these when I'm, um, damn, I was trying not to tear the box. <laughs> I only, I'm only gonna be using these when I'm running. That's the number one reason why we got them, so. Um, that's not enough justification for me to buy like a $400 or $500 pair of headphones. How do we open it? Oh, I got a QR code to start. I'm sure I gotta charge them first though. That little duster or something like that. Okay. See how they feel? Oh, they feel really good. Let's do the QR code and see if we can set it up. They've been charging for like 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. Okay, I think I gotta hold it. I lost the directions. <laughs> Oh, we got them on. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Let's go to settings, Bluetooth. Go. I already say we connected. Let's hear how they sound. What's a good song? About to turn it up. Hold on. They're very loud. Oh, ah. um, they turned off. <laughs> That's good to know. Definitely happy with this purchase. Do they fold? I don't think so. That's okay, they don't need to fold. They twist, I guess so you can like stow them away sideways. I'm excited, happy with the purchase. 
Y'all, I don't know what I'm about to do because it's actually time for me to go to bed. And I feel like there's a lot of things that I didn't do today. Like, I didn't get my nails done. I didn't. I need to do my sit-ups and push-ups, so I'm about to do those, do those right now. Let's see how many I got to do. Today is day 10. Oh, my God. I need to have it saved. Uh, I think I screenshot it again, yeah. Okay, so for day 10, we have 12 push-ups, not bad, 40 sit-ups. No, I did this yesterday. Oh, I'm on day 11. Woo, rest day on the push-ups, 45 sit-ups, day 11. 60 second plank. Let's do it. Then I'm at the shower, go to bed. Am I gonna end this vlog today? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't enough, but I don't wanna commit to a whole week. But I do wanna like at least say that I got my package because right now I didn't get my package. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, y'all, we'll see. Happy Monday. I guess we are doing this vlogging thing, huh? But y'all, I, <laughs> I guess hello. I had a long day. It wasn't like terrible, but um, I feel like it was long, but I got everything done, so that was good. Y'all, this damn package is gonna be the bane of my existence. At this point, I, I don't even want it. <laughs> I was just playing, but they said that they were gonna come. I got an email last night, um, in the middle of the night last night, saying that they were gonna come today between 12 and four o'clock. Granted, I work all day, so I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get the package, but um, I was like, okay, maybe I can sort of plan a little something um, in order to get it. And y'all, they showed up at 10.45, and my phone was like blowing up because my ring camera will like uh, announce it you know to my phone or whatever so my watch is blowing up but i was in the middle of a session and the session was like really like it was getting emotional for the patient so of course i'm not gonna be like oh let me try and get my package or whatever so of course i couldn't do anything about it and so once my patient left i checked my camera and sure enough they were there trying to drop it off early so then i called fedex and i'm complaining i'm like i complained to like three different people the first person hung up on me so that's when it got really bad so then i called back and complained to one person and then after she did all her apologizing i felt so bad but I was like, okay, well, thank you so much. Can I speak to your boss? <laughs> and then I talked to her boss and I did my complaining all over again, which honestly it didn't change anything, but it did make me feel better to just vent because I'm like, who else can I vent to about this? <laughs> so I was just so frustrated. Um, but ultimately what they said has to happen is that they're gonna try again tomorrow. I'm like, obviously I'm gonna be at work tomorrow, but um, after tomorrow, then they can just leave it at, um, a FedEx location and I can pick it up which unfortunately the FedEx location is 30 minutes away from my house but we're not even gonna talk about that um so yeah that was that I did not work out today because I had to do a um like a provider to provider handoff we call it like a warm handoff because I refer to patients to residential treatment and I was waiting to speak to the provider that was going to be there sorry it's going to annoy me um I was waiting for the provider that was going to be there to call me and I was so hungry I just been hungry this dang on medicine that I got to take um increases my appetite and so I was super hungry and I'm like okay I can't wait anymore I gotta eat so by like 11 50 I started eating and then she called me at like 11 59 and the reason I'm talking about food is because I would have worked out at 12 but I already ate my salad so it was too late I couldn't work out um so I might do a little workout today but or when I get home but I, I kind of also really want my nails done and I want my nails done more than I want to work out so I'm probably gonna see about that but I also have to cook dinner so I don't know my other thing is like do I want to show up to the nail salon in my uniform and I'm almost airing on the side of yes because I just want my nails done honestly but I might go home first anyway just checking in happy Monday <laughs> uh, white why yeah I found the nail salon. It's so nice. I didn't even know this is like right around the corner from my house. Oh my God, I can be, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I want to kind of show y'all around, but it's a lot of people in here, so I don't want to um, make them uncomfortable, but it is really nice. 
so this is definitely gonna be my new place. definitely just made an appointment to come back in two weeks they did such a good job i'm right here by the grocery store so i figured i might as well just pick up a pack of chicken because i have a pack thawed out but i don't know if i um i don't know if it's really gonna be thawed by the time i get home and i do want to cook this uh, recipe that i saw online i don't know if it's low cholesterol friendly because it definitely has um cream and chicken but we're just gonna do it y'all look at these she did such a good job they did a good job on my toes too, but I mean, a pedicure is a pedicure, honestly. Well, I've had some really good ones, but this one was just a regular pedicure, but she fixed my nails. They were not um, the design that I had before I was not happy with. Sorry, I'm looking for chicken. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, the design, or not the design, but the shape that I had before I was not happy with, so I'm very, very happy that she fixed them. And she just really took her time. Um, I think I literally only need chicken. I'm trying to think. Hold on one second. Yeah, just chicken. I feel like this is my first time actually like vlogging in my my neighborhood places that I go to. <laughs> um, but surprisingly, not embarrassed. But as I'm walking to the front, a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> but it should be quick in and out. If you have your club card, please scan it now. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Literally in and out. So we're going to make this recipe. And we are going to be good for the night. I feel like I was about to tell y'all something and I can't remember what it was. So I'm going to just go ahead and go and stop. <clears throat> It almost is like, <laughs> I about to say this lady almost hit me. And you would think that I was in the wrong because I was talking to the, com the camera, but I was in the crosswalk area. show y'all my ingredients because the step-by-step -step is probably not going to happen. But I'm going to show y'all the ingredients. I'm going to show y'all basically like this is the before and then we'll do the after. So we got the chicken cleaning right here. I just put it in the pot because my bowl, I only have one big bowl and I already used it for my mixture that for my salad. So it's cleaning in the pot. Um, then we are going to use this veterans one pot red beans and rice, which again, probably not cholesterol for oh, zero cholesterol come through. Boom! This is what I'm a little bit worried about because we're going to use some cream and chicken soup. Is there any cholesterol in here? Ooh, five percent cholesterol, not terrible, not terrible. A lot of sodium though, ooh, 38 percent. So we are not going to put salt on anything because it's enough in there. We're going to use a little bit of bouillon, which I know has a lot of sodium, but we're not even going to use as much as, I don't even think we're going to use a teaspoon to be honest. So, um, but we are going to use bouillon, but this is only because I don't have any chicken broth. I think I only have vegetable broth and we want it to taste like chicken. So we'll just use bouillon for this. We're going to garlic with, or <laughs> season with a little bit of garlic, pepper. Again, we're not using salt anymore. Slap your mama. And we probably want to get some onion powder. But I might just go ahead and use fresh onions because I still got those green or those red onions from yesterday. So yeah, we'll use some fresh onions for this. Oh, you know what? We can use fresh garlic too. Might as well. Fresh garlic, onion. So we can put this away. And then we can probably use a little bit of sassafras. Do we need it? 
sewed in 7%. I don't know. I might, I'm probably going to use some sasson as well. So yeah, this is all the ingredients and we're going to put it together and see how it go. Essentially, we're going to pan fry the chicken, but it's not going to be done. We're just going to brown it, take it out the pot. We're going to put all the rice and stuff in the pot. Then we're going to put the chicken, we're going to mix the rice with this, put the chicken on top, put it in the oven on 375 and cook it for about 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. I'll let y'all know. Quick update, I had Cajun or yeah, Cajun seasoning, so I'm just going to use this instead of the sassone, so I'm going to put that back. And this is olive oil and butter, and then I am going to boil two bottles or two cups of water that's supposed to go in this. The reason I'm boiling it is because I got to be able to melt this down, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that did not work because it was super watery. And I don't know, the um, video that I saw, the rice like absorbed and it cooked, that didn't work. So I did just add two cups of minute rice in there. The reason I added two cups is because, oh, that probably was too much. Damn. Two cups should have been four cups of water. I should have did a cup and a half. Hmm. Well, I added minute rice, and it, apparently the minute rice only takes five minutes to cook. But I'm going to leave it in there um, for about 13 because I also put biscuits in, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what this meal is going to turn out to be. We'll see. We shall see. Hopefully good. Fingers crossed. Because <laughs> Lord. I'm sorry, y'all. Tilted. But I think we on to something. It tasted. I just tasted it. What I'm about to do is shred the chicken while it's in here. Oh, I should show y'all. But I think that we, we did what we needed to do. Should I share it, the chicken? It's already shredding. Okay, let me show y'all. Boom. It looks so good. I just tasted it. It tastes good. I need to put y'all somewhere. I'm about to flip this pot upside down. <laughs> and turn the pot into the tripod. This is... <laughs> the new and unimproved vlogging style. I don't even feel like shredding all of this chicken, to be honest. I think that we can just get a whole piece of chicken. We got one piece that's shredded. Everything else is just going to be whole. It's really good, though. Oh, shoot. My biscuits. My biscuits. We can't burn the biscuits. Mm. But you were married the daughter of a king. Mm. Alright y'all, we're going to do a taste test. Never mind, my Vikings playing in the background. So, I did not cook a vegetable, I just was too hungry. Mm -hmm. My drink. Mm. And a biscuit. We good. Not mad at it. Happy Tuesday. Guess what, y'all? It's 8 o'clock. I'm at home because I went all the way to work, got to the gate, and realized that I left my ID. And I was annoyed. because I was already annoyed because I was supposed to take clothes to the cleaners, and I left them here. But now that I came home to get my ID, I was like, I might as well take clothes to the cleaners and then go to work. Happy Tuesday. Friends, we need to talk <laughs> because one of you, one of you has me so embarrassed at work and whoever you are, you have to know who you are because we must be stationed in the same command, but you're at my parent command and you told my OIC about my YouTube channel. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It's not even a big deal, y'all. But he daggone. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just, he ain't do nothing. He just told me that he know about it. But I'm so embarrassed. And now a chief knows about it. And I feel like it's just gonna spread like a wildfire. And I still got two and a half years left to be here, y'all. <laughs> that was supposed to be our little secret. <laughs> Why would y'all do that? Hey, guess what finally arrived. Y'all, I had to leave a note on the door for them to wait a second because I swear they would ring the bell and by the time somebody came downstairs, they was already gone. 
but I left the door and I, I mean a note on the door and I was like please just wait so I feel like this package has gone through the ringer but let's open it up and show y'all what I got <laughs> I think I might have said already what it was I think let's just some perfume some new scents to add to my collection my growing collection when I usually used to only use the same scent and now we are growing all right let's see how they package this up okay oh I got like a little gift bag okay gift bag let's look at that first <laughs> That's funny that they put this in here, but I guess if I was like buying a gift for somebody. And they gave me like the ribbon and everything. <laughs> uh oh, it's falling apart. Oh, I got stickers. What? I love this sticker now. This can go on my, um, can y'all see it? Why is it not? Okay, whatever. This can go on my little clipboard because I collect stickers on my clipboard. Um, these gift bags are nice. I guess I'm going to save this for Christmas time because you never know. I might buy somebody like a little MCM gift and I already have the ribbon in the bags. So let me just toss this back. Lord knows I don't have room to just <laughs> have random bags sitting around. But these are nice so I'll hold on to them. Anyway, so I saw these posted online and I was like I want to try them out. So this one, they don't even have names. The color is cognac, but it doesn't have a name. So does this one have a color? Oh, and this one just says red. So let's open them up. <laughs> the reason I got them, I have no idea how they smell, but the bottles were just so cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna see it. I wanna try it out. So, yeah. Shout out to the plug. <laughs> AKA my fiance. Let me show y'all. I guess this is like an unboxing. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little bag. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Uh oh, I gotta open the other one off camera. I gotta find my phone too. Oh, it's good. All right, y'all, so I am definitely happy that I finally got my package. Unfortunately, I don't like the scent. <laughs> I sprayed it on my arm. It kind of reminds me of definitely like a man and I don't, I don't mind like more masculine scents, but it's almost something that I would like maybe around the house, but not on my body, but we'll see. Um, sometimes things have to warm up to me or I have to warm up to the different scents, so we'll see. Either way, we got it. Um, but before I ended this vlog, I just wanted to hop on and talk to y'all a little bit about imposter syndrome um, for two reasons. The first reason is because I had like a, a moment today that helped me to feel confident in like a diagnosis that I made. And then also because somebody has been binge watching my videos and she left me a comment today and she was like, um, she was kind of telling me a little bit about herself and she was like, um, you know, I'm really appreciating your videos and this can be helping someone. And I was like, dang, that's so cool that she's watching my videos right now, especially in the midst of me finally coming back and like um, deciding to record and stuff. So um, I felt like because she felt touched by whatever I was talking about in that video and it had to do with my job, I was like, well, let me go ahead and open up about what happened today. Um, so essentially um i had a patient that was transferred to me with one diagnosis when i met with the patient and did like my assessment i kind of was like uh i see why that diagnosis was made but i also see something else and the thing about it is the something else is like kind of a a diagnosis that I've never personally made. I've worked with people that have been um, diagnosed with this thing, and um, I've uh, I've like studied it a little bit, but I've never made the diagnosis. And for me, it's like I'm super super comfortable with what I work with on a day to day basis. Um, but then things that I don't always see or I don't always um, I don't um, 
assess for all the time or I guess I assess for it all the time but the answers aren't usually yes um, I'm not super comfortable with them so and especially because this person was seen by another provider who is a psychologist which is a doctor and so I was like dang there's no way that I could be seeing this thing that this person didn't see um, but nonetheless I was like you know what I'm gonna get into my books and I started opening and I was reading and I was like I really really think that this person has this thing but I just didn't trust myself I'm like can I diagnose that which yes I can that's the answer to it but I was questioning it so I went to my colleague and I was like hey if you don't mind just consulting with me on a case this is what I see this is what I think and the first thing he does is you know open the book and he's going down the line of the book and I appreciate that because I also always refer to the manual like even if there's something that I, I believe is to be like a certain diagnosis I always refer to the manual just to make sure that I'm I'm checking out the criteria and he's like this is that yeah he's like I, I really think you're right um the thing is this is like a service limiting diagnosis meaning like the person would have to basically have to be separated from the military so I was like "Ooh, I, I don't feel comfortable but it is what it is if this is what it is <laughs> um I feel like I'm talking in circles or talking like so vaguely but I hope y'all are tracking um but additionally the patient was um referred to treatment um by another provider so um and the, the treatment was like a residential treatment so i did reach out to the, the residential treatment facility and i reached out to the provider and i was like hey just for your awareness this is what i noticed i believe that this might be the diagnosis but because you're going to be working with this person on a day-to-day -day basis i was just like for you to maybe assess for yourself and let me know what you think and long story short today i got confirmation that they agree with me with the diagnosis and I don't know it was like the reason I talk about imposter syndrome is because it's like I knew it but I didn't trust myself to know it and I was like how can I know it if this other person didn't know it maybe she did right so I'm not I don't want to say that they didn't know it but it was just because I was the one making that call and I just did not think that I didn't believe that I was right even though I felt like I was right I don't know so anyway um it did feel good to know that I saw the signs and I was able to kind of pick up on it um not only for my own like educational portion of it and kind of feeling good that I feel like I am following the path that I'm supposed to in terms of like you know assessing for something and calling it out and knowing that I'm right but then also the patient is going to get the treatment that they need because it's a specific type of treatment that's needed for the diagnosis that um, if you don't know you have it you're not going to get the treatment um, and so they can, you can suffer for a lifetime if you never know and so now the patient is going to get the treatment that they need so I feel good about that um, and so yeah I don't know I just wanted to talk about it because I don't know it's just it it feels good to be validated and I've been having like a pretty stressful week at work and not anything bad it's just been like kind of like these little things that just kind of like add up and so it's nice to have those moments of like validation and I was like oh I am doing my job correctly and I know I am right but I don't know sometimes I just question it so um, I just wanted to share that with you all but I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog. Um, plans for the day. I just started marinating um, chicken, so I'm going to make some jerk chicken here pretty soon. I got leftover red beans and rice, so we're just going to eat it with the red beans and rice. Um, and then probably some vegetables. I'm also going to go for a run. There's a running group in my neighborhood that I find I joined a month or two ago. Ago, but I finally decided like the sun is out. It's not super super cold outside I'm gonna go and run with these folks. So it's supposed to be like three miles or so. So I'm gonna go do that um, And then I'm gonna chill but the reason I'm ending the vlog now is because this was only supposed to be a one-day vlog But because my package didn't come I was like I need to keep you all updated on the damn package um, And now that the packages came I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and end it and I'll pick back up another one I feel good about vlogging. I felt like it wasn't too much and it's crazy because I picked up the camera the same week that I restocked my website so at this point I'm doing all my things again and when I stopped vlogging in January, it felt heavy, 
but right now it feels light and it feels fun again and I like that about it so as long as I keep this feeling I'm gonna keep vlogging and I will probably just pick up the camera either tomorrow or the next day and, and make sure I put out a vlog next week as well so I hope you guys enjoyed if so make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already please make sure you subscribe to my channel um, if you want to catch up with me on a day-to-day -day basis definitely check me out on Instagram at Rebecca Elaine and otherwise I'll catch you all on the next one peace and I make it money, please,